This is the Law of Conservation of Mass Lab. We are going to add <clears throat> hydrochloric acid, HCl, which I have measured out here, 40 milliliters, inside this graduated cylinder. And we have calcium carbonate, CaCO3, which is uh, sold in feed stores as oyster shell. And that's what we have. Uh, in the first step, you, seen, you saw that I already measured out 40 milliliters of the hydrochloric acid. What I'm going to do is this piece of paper is one gram, and I want 15 grams. So I set my period or my uh, triple beam balance to 16 grams. You'll see that the pointer is below the zero line. I'm going to add this to the pan, and that comes up to where the pointer is at the zero line. And that means tells me that I have 15 grams of shell, and I have one gram of paper. Now I'm going to take that paper. And I'm going to put it inside of a baggie. I take the shell, I put it inside the baggie, and I have the hydrochloric acid in a beaker inside the baggie, and the baggie is sealed. Now, what I want to do for my first measurement is I'm going to measure the mass of the shell, the beaker, the baggie, and the HCL. And it turns out that this is 69.6 grams. 69.6 grams. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spill the contents of the acid into the shell. And I'm going to knead that a little bit. You can hear fizzing. You can see that the bag is blowing up, so we are producing a gas. And I will tell you that there's a little bit of heat that's being produced here as well. Okay, so we have now produced a gas, and that reaction is going on. It's got to pop, Mr. Wise. <laughs> well, hopefully it does not pop before I get this measurement. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that back onto the scale, and the scale... The scale is going to show that it is the same mass that we had before. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pen and I'm going to poke a hole in it. Now one of the things I love to have students do is to waft that smell in there because <laughs> it smells awful, right? What would you say Mr. Wise? It smells awful. Okay. It's, a, it's a lovely smell that I like to have students smell. Uh, we describe it as uh, maybe at the seashore. But really what the gas is that we produced was we produced some carbon dioxide, but it, it, it's got a little bit of mixture of, of the chlorine that's in there as well. And it's a nice, awful smell, and it's just lovely, just lovely. Okay, so now I'm putting all of the contents, well, not quite all of the contents. What left? There is one thing that left, and that was one of the products that we produced was a gas. We still have a solid inside the bag. We still have a liquid inside the bag, and, and the reaction's still going on. Um, but what I have to do is I have to reduce this to get my final measurement. And it turns out we're about 67.5 grams. So if we started out with 69.6 grams... And now we have 67.5 grams. Well, this is the law of conservation of mass. How is it that that is in keeping with the law of conservation of mass? And the answer is, is that that missing, there's missing, it's about 2 grams that are missing, 2.1 grams that are missing. The missing 2.1 grams is accounted for by the gas because that gas, as we know, is matter, and matter has mass. So gas has mass, and it's accounted for in that level.